Welcome to this Windows channel and um, this is a video talking about a feature um, that you can actually implement in your internet connection. Um, so uh, there's a thing called Quad9 and I'm going to try to explain it very uh, simply here. So first of all, when you connect to the internet, uh, you've got an IP address, which is kind of, you know, a postal address. It's a unique uh, address that you get that is identifying you on the internet. And uh, everybody around the world has a unique IP address. But when you connect to the internet, you also have something called DNS, which is Domain Name Server. A DNS is what actually helps your computer, your router, and the um, internet service provider resolve the websites that you go to basically. Now, for most people, the DNS are actually acquired from your internet service provider. So that means when you connect to the internet, your ISP is giving you an IP, but it's also giving your computer DNS servers to use so that you can get the websites that you want to go to. Now, for anybody that's a little more technical, you learn over time that even though most ISPs DNS server are quite all right, there are better DNS servers out there. So you can actually change that DNS server. You can use the DNS of other providers in order to go to the internet. For example, I've used for a long time OpenDNS, which was a uh, interesting uh, and very well-known service that uh, because of its popularity and how big they are would provide you with a better and faster resolve of internet websites from time to time. It also gave you a layer of security because you could create a free account and change the protection. So for example on clients uh, when I would go to fix computers and they would say hey my children looks at porn is there something you can do about it? Um, you know instead of installing parent uh, control, parental control and stuff like that which I'm, I, I, you know, I, I'm going to be very honest, don't necessarily work very well and are often very complicated to implement and have working correctly. Uh, now I'm counting the fact that, well, you know, if your children get a little more technical, they actually know how to, you know, just go and, and bypass that. Um, I would do the open DNS thing and change the DNS in the router and would implement well, no porn rule on the open DNS. And that would block a lot of it. Maybe not 100%, but it was a pretty amazing block, uh, I gotta say. And it was probably one of the best blocks anyway. And you cannot really go around it because it was implemented in your DNS servers. So Quad9. Quad9 is a DNS server. It's a um, basically service that is uh, founded by IBM, Packet Clearinghouse, and Global Cyber Alliance. They are working together to keep people safe on the internet. And they've created what's called Quad9. Why is it called Quad9? Well, your DNS servers have four numbers to them. So it's a number dot, another number dot, another number dot, another number. In the Quad9, your DNS servers are set to 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 .9. Now, I talked about this service a couple of weeks back, and of course, I had promised that I would come back and talk about it. So I've been, and I did change my DNS to these servers, um, and um, the promise of Quad9 is to try to prevent malware and bad things from happening to your PC. So as we have more and more you know, ransomware of, of you know malware and even for Mac users by the way this is a good thing to use um, a lot of that comes from the web and Quad9 what they do is they aggregate all the information of all the malicious websites out there and are trying to block all of these so that means it actually increases your security on the internet by blocking everything that they know that has malware in it. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks 
I changed the um, Quad 9 DNS in the router directly so that it affects every machine I use in my home. And I got to say, I it's very difficult to test it out. I would have to really go to some bad websites for that. But I do go to a few websites that actually have bad things that actually will pop up from time to time. So for example, uh, there's a website that I go to. And I won't mention the websites because I don't want anybody going there. But you know, it's websites that tech guys sometimes go to because they want to see things or find things. And um, basically one of the websites that I go to, it often pops up a, you know, fake page that says, oh, you might be infected by a virus with that little voice and a phone number, which of course, you know, as a tech guy, I totally know that this is fake and has nothing, there's no, there's no viruses in there. It's just trying to lure you into calling a fake tech service. And because that is the website that I know that once out of every four or five visits, it pops it up. I, of course, went to that website a um, hundred times to see if it had changed anything. And you know what? I've not seen that pop-up of a virus on your machine appear since I'm on 9.9.9.9. .9 so I'm assuming, and really it's just an assumption, that basically it is protecting me in some way. And I am kind of want to stay there. So, okay, what happens next? Now, tomorrow, Friday, I will post a video on how to do it uh, in my own way. But you can change your DNS. It's not that difficult to do. And the website here, Quan 9 actually has instructions on how to set it up. So when you're here, you click set up quad nine and basically it's going to tell you on a Mac on a PC how to set it up machine by machine if you want to have everything in your home that's connected secured through this then you do like I do you set it up within your router but you have to know how to get in your routers menu and in the internet uh, connection you need to know how to change the DNS but until now, it does seem to help out. And I've seen a lot of good things over the internet of um, experiences and a lot of uh, security places that are, seem to say that Quad 9 is actually not bad, uh, a good idea to use, basically. And so it kind of protects you from all sorts of bad things. So check it out and um, just follow the instructions. They're not that difficult to follow. And uh, I'll try to uh, maybe do a little more of a video on it if uh, you require a little more instructions on it. So Quad 9 is uh, kind of a nice way to, uh, and seems to work, to secure yourself on the internet. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.